And we're back to more Castlevania 4. We are. Here we are in stage 4. What would you call this stage? Uh, this is like a... It's not quite in the castle yet. It's like a, a fortress that's kind of like on the outskirts of it. Yeah. Just like a tower that's leading up to the castle. Yeah, I was called the barracks for some reason, but yeah, I know yeah. that's not accurate. It's kind of, kind of barracks -y. A barracks tower? I don't know. Lots of skeletons. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of why I call it the barracks. There's a lot of soldier skeletons running around. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And again, this level's a bit of a, a difficulty increase over the I love the skeletons watching you. It's like, hey, yeah. you're gonna die. Yeah. Don't yeah. fuck up. Don't screw up. We're watching. <laughs> It'd be super embarrassing if you died right now. Yeah. yeah. So this level is kind of special in that it has two bosses. Um, which I guess kind of, yeah, there's not a whole lot of classic era games. Just, well, I guess Bloodlines has a bunch of bosses yeah. interspersed in levels, but yeah, most of them just have one. Simple fashion, you get one boss per stage. Yeah. But. I guess the interesting thing is that stage five doesn't have a boss at all, so I guess it's, this one's making up for it. Yeah. <laughs> Also fun about the bosses in this level is they're both, uh, at least their English names, are uh, stupid backwards kind of pun things. Yeah. Um, one of them, the first one is a giant skull called Puexel, which is licks you up backwards. Yeah. And uh, the second one, a big rock guy, a golem I guess, is um, called Coronaut, which is ton of rock backwards. So here's Puexel, and he's going to lick us up main trick to this fight, every time you hit him, rubble will fall from the ceiling, so just hold your whip up like that, and it should be pretty okay. And you can also whip this poison gas for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why, but we won't question it. Sometimes the rubble's a little bit hard to finagle, but yeah, that's the trick to that fight. <laughs> Goodbye, Poexel. Now this room always messed me up. Yeah, so you might ask yourself, how the hell did he get stuck on those spikes? Well, this is how. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a neat little bit of foreshadowing or uh, visual storytelling there, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, this room rotates. Um, once the platform stops here, you'll get a bunch of Medusa heads flying at you and gotta fend them off for a bit, which can be a bit of a pain. Especially since when they hit you, they'll probably not be the same spikes. And spikes are into death and... Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh, one way to take it to a death screen. Alright. See, I always thought you had to jump there. And I yeah, always... it's not There's an invisible intuitive. wall that stops you. Yeah, it's, it's really... Honestly, it's not very intuitive. Like, there's nothing that really tells you you have to kill a bunch of Medusa heads. Like, it just seems like you're coming in instantly. Yeah. Not exactly well telegraphed there, but eh, whatever. And now you just gotta wait around until this bridge comes in. <laughs> really, the point of this room is they're trying to show off the uh, the rotation and scaling effects of the uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> that was their ulter ulterior motive behind that part. And uh, speaking of, same with this room. All that rotating, brand new SNES tech, yo. Also, right foot slow down. <laughs> this is nice. Especially since you were so close to that there. Yeah, it was getting there. Alright, there's that area. One more area before the second boss is a bunch of moving blocks. This place kind of forms a weird maze-ish thing, but there's really only one path that you need to take. Um, I don't know if there's anything really of value in, in this maze. I don't feel the there is. So, quickest way to go is just take the path above these spikes, I guess. And uh, follow this, I think, up one level. And then we 
wait for this to pass. And we'll just take it right in that hole there. Yeah. So that's it for that weird maze. The weird thing with the maze is it kind of scrolls infinitely if you try to go vertically, so yeah. yeah. And then you get really messed up. Exactly. Easy to get messed up in that area. Let's just move just, your ass. Just, just walk. <laughs> just keep strutting. Don't do that reliably, because <laughs> yeah, do as it, you just saw. Do it when you're safe, I guess, if you want to do that. But uh, yeah, here's Coronaut or Tungarod. He's gigantic and again showing off the SNES's ability to scale and rotate edges. He'll shrink every time you hit him. Usually my good rule of thumb is you're winning if his health bar gets a little lower than yours. Pretty well. Gets a bit speedy when he's low on health, but you can just kind of pummel him to the end there. Like that. No. Ah. There he goes, <laughs> hop into the void, I guess. Never to be seen again. And that's it for bosses with backwards names. <laughs> Again, Dracula getting seen. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> stage 5 is extremely short. Um, the thing with this stage is that the time limit is also extremely short, so just move your butt. Yeah. Um, no boss here. Just go. This is the final stage lead up to the castle. Got some harpies here, which aren't carrying flea men, but just weird little gremlin things, I guess. Yeah. We haven't established the flea bin yet. <laughs> they were in the first, uh, or a couple of the NES ones, but they did, I don't know, thought they'd do something different. Holidays! <laughs> yeah, there we go. He ran a, his flea man factory was at a business. Yeah. Or something like unionized. that. Unionized! Yeah, the, the flea man unionized. <laughs> <laughs> Which, hey, good on them. Yeah. Good on them. Hopefully they got some good benefits with their negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> Free meat and whatnot. Free meat, weekends off, and holidays. Yeah. Wonder what holidays clean and observe. They really pushed to be paired with the succubus, but well, that didn't really end it. So. Yeah. yeah. It didn't pan out, I guess. There's the rosary. I have to pick it up kind of quickly, but. Wait, I've seen a little bit of that topic. Yeah. Alright, getting near the end. Here's some Belmont skeletons, I guess. Dracula's like, hey, I can have whips too. Come on. <laughs> I always like the fact that those were the failed, like, other vampire hunters. <laughs> sure, yeah. Why not? You guys don't got the sick whip like I do. Vampire yeah. Kind of shit. Yeah, because there had to be some that were like, oh, I can definitely take Dracula. I don't have to get Belmont. Yeah, some some peasants just got yeah. full of themselves and like, yeah, it needs yeah. Belmonts. You know, they took out a few monsters and they're like, oh yeah, I can fight evil. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And that's it for stage five. And <laughs> much like Dr. Wily's castle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Except this time, Dr. Wily's castle is most of the king. So, yeah, here we go. And this is where, again, this is where the game really starts to show its fangs. Yeah. You know, vampires and whatnot. So, this is the dance hall. And here's the uncensored statues I mentioned, by the way. Those are a bit more covered up. In the, Busty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't... They're not showing their stuff as much in the U.S. version. I think they're covered up with some fog and whatnot. So, Japanese got some nice, nicer statues than we did, basically. Yeah. Um, 
if you're in this match. Yeah. Uh, hey, each their own. Yeah. We don't judge here. Yep, absolutely not. And there's some Axe Knights, which is a staple, staple of Castlevania. Nice dodge. Thank you. There's some Holy Water, which is effective against these guys that take a zillion hits. I always like having the Holy Water of all the sub weapons. I think Axe is my go to just because it hits awkward angles. Like, yeah. Holy Water is great for enemies that are just kind of standing around and just destroys them. Really quick. So, anything. I always use it as, like, if I have a higher ground, I love having that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Raining down holy water on pools is not a bad thing at all. No. The knife is kind of the worst. It's not great. It, it has its moments, but not great. It's a bit faster than before, I guess. It's to say for it. Yeah. And here's some crazy chandeliers with some crazy music. There's lots of platforming here. No enemies, just... A just series of weird chandeliers and flashing backgrounds. And there's another life, nice. At 70,000, so yeah. Got my first life at 20,000, second life at 70. Next should be at 120. Score. Yeah. Hopefully I don't eat crap here. Would be bad. Would be. It's a little bit treacherous though, so. Hold on your seatbelts and whatnot. Key really is just to wait until the chandeliers are swimming back to get those parts. Yeah. Otherwise, you probably won't make it to jump. Just wait until it swims back. Yeah. Good plan. Bit of a safety net under this one. Part of it, so. There we go. And that's that. Oh! Oh, that was almost that, alright. <laughs> I might have called that a little too soon, sir. Yeah. Yep. No, we're good, though. And upcoming, there's a secret room after these fallen chandeliers. Don't stand too close, by the way. Those candles will hurt you for some stupid reason. Yeah. The candles burn you. Yeah, I guess so. So, you might notice that this third archway doesn't have a chandelier. And that's because... Ta-da! Secret. It's even got unique music for some reason. <laughs> it's kind of great. <laughs> so there's a gravekeeper and his loyal dog jumping at you. Kill that dog. And now we all feel like a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you should have, like, you <laughs> put it on a leash, buddy. Yeah, really. <laughs> Whose fault is it, right? Irresponsible pet owners, I swear. And yeah, we're taking knives. I have double for it, so I guess that's what we're going with. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed I picked up a double, so yeah. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, why not? Show the daggers off a little bit. Or something. So yeah, one secret room. One of only two in the game. And that's the only place you'll see that weird gravekeeper. And his little dog. I guess I picked up an axe there too, so. So much for the daggers. Ouch. Okay, ganged up on here. I think I've hit a checkpoint, so I don't think I'll be sent back to the start of the level here. Yeah. And those ectoplasms, the reason I bother with them is because they, they treat the edge of the screen as a, an actual boundary, so. Yeah, you know, just <laughs> bounce right back actions. Yeah, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Meet any time. Oh, that's a double one. And also, I can't get to it. Alas. I was going to say, why did you do that? Yeah, I kind of broke it with it meaning to. These running men. Running good. There we go. Uh -huh. Love it. Let's see it. There you go. Uh, you'll just come back and do that. What do I care? You'll scroll back into existence, won't you? Yeah. Of course I will. Yeah. 
off her angle here. Alright, these platforms will flip as soon as I jump on them. So. And, and. Caution, get from a distance if we can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, those the fall or something. Yeah, they do. They they crack if you stand on them long enough. Ah. Yep. These guys chase you. Good. Killed it. And get that meat. All right, we're back in kind of business. Yeah. We're not dying, but yeah. we could be better. Could do a top up, but we'll survive a hit or two. Skeletons, a classic. So these guys are just dry bones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll stand back up shortly after you knock them down. for that. Awesome. So here's these weird grabby hands and their skeleton companions. When the hands grab you, these things will come to life. So you can just do that. Or you just duck down and kill the skeleton right away. Yeah. <laughs> They're a weird type of <laughs> Duck and slap. Although, I think you can also just kind of do this and yeah. Oh yeah, no, you see. It <laughs> just fades right through. So yeah, weird enemy. Rotating ring of coffins. I think this is a double. Oh. Sometimes it's a double. I guess it's randomized. To some degree. These tables will come to life. Yeah. Yep, like that. Yeah, this was like the stage of like weird, unassuming enemies. Yeah, all kinds of weird stuff in this dance hall here. There's a rosary. Stuff. Wouldn't have killed anything anyways, I guess. Yeah. That's annoying. That was a little bit unfair, but somehow it dodged that. And here is the only other one up in the game, and as, as far as I know, maybe there's something I don't know. Ta da! I love how it just says one <laughs> just, up. Like, yeah, it's just like, eh, hey, here's a one up. <laughs> no, no, no artifact or anything. No, no theming around Castlevania, it's just a one up. And, and ghost dancers. I would go all in with your axes, sir. Yeah, they're a bit. Um, they move around a little bit weird, so I might have to take this a bit differently, but yeah, I can just spam. You're right. They alternate between uh, sh shooting out lances and uh, dashing around their sa with their sabers. So, there we go. Got him. Just gotta kind of move around the... Keep, keep on the move if you want to avoid. Right yeah. Around, basically. So the sabers that they throw out can be repelled with your whip, as most projectiles can. And that's stage six. On the seventh, which is the uh, art gallery. 
Library and art gallery. So, I think, though, we'll have to call here. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, and we're yeah, sorry, but... No problem. I don't think we're going to have time for a full... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit uncertain here. It, it can go on. Yeah. But until next time, I'm Devin. I'm Curtis. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.